started. Okay, welcome everybody to this uh, awesome Zoom call that we're doing today. I'm super excited. My name is Scotty Hobbs. Uh, we want to try to keep it to under 40 minutes because I know you guys are busy with your families. Um, just a little background story about me. I have five kids. Uh, I'm not with them right now. I'm meeting with one of my partners that I've been with for about 11, 11 years. He's had a hundred pound transformation and been a partner on our team for 11 years. And we're going to be hanging out. I brought the boat up to my cabin here uh, and we're going to go kayaking and boating and stuff like that. So uh, I've been here for 12 years and I have five kids. Um, and then Mallory will be our guest speaker also with me today, kind of to share her experience. So um, I'm going to start off just sharing how I got started with body. But first, I want to ask you guys something. Is the fan is the background fan too loud before I start? Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> it was like 85 here at the cabin when I got here. So I turned on <laughs> all the fans in the background. Okay. So uh, my name is Scotty. Like I said, I have five kids. I've been married for 17 years. Our anniversary was just a few days ago. My oldest daughter is about to turn 17 and my youngest son turns eight this weekend. So we have that range, five kids between the ages of eight and almost 17. My journey with body started with a program uh, called P90X. Have any of you guys heard of P90X before? Okay, some of you guys have heard of that. So um, my story kind of went like this. I had two young daughters at the time, back when I was about 29 years old. This guy, um, my wife and I didn't attend church. We were kind of uh, lazy and we were kind of lost as newlyweds, just to be honest with you. And this guy from our church knocks on the door. I let him in. I didn't know he was from the church trying to bring us back, but he had brownies. So I let him in and uh, he comes in and we're just chatting. And it turns out that he has two daughters that are about the same age of my two daughters. But this guy is like jacked. He's like six foot three, like 240 pounds of like pure muscle. And I'm 190 pounds of just fluff of just chubby. Haven't worked out in 10 years. So my wife's Bolivian. So she, she cooks a lot and I love to eat. So I just ask him, I'm like, dude, how do you look? So like, how do you look like that? You have two daughters. I have two daughters. You're ripped and I'm chubby. <laughs> like, how do I look like you? How do I have the energy that you have? <clears throat> and it turns out he was a special teams coach for the high school football team and also their strength coach. So he's like, dude, just come work. Like, you're welcome to come work out with us. Like I train the kids in the morning and I'm like, dude, let's do it. He's like, I train the high school kids. And I'm like, let's go. Like, I'm, I'm sign me up. I'll do it. Like, I, I want to look and feel like you uh, look. So uh, unfortunately, they trained at 6 a.m. And I worked at the time from 5, five in the morning until five at night in, in a steel factory here in Idaho Falls. So I was like, oh, man, I can't come. Like, I have to be to work at five. And I was like, do you know anything I could do from home? And he said, you should do that P90X workout. So that's where my journey with body, uh, formerly known as Beachbody, started. And one thing about me is when I decide to do something, I'm an all-in person. Like, I'm very mission-oriented. I'm like, okay, I'm going to do this. Uh, and so I printed out a picture of kind of like my ideal goal of what I wanted to accomplish. I don't share this part much often, but it's from a, uh, a movie called Never Back Down. It's like a fighting movie. And I'm like, I want to look like that guy. So I printed it out. I printed the meal plan, got the, the P90X DVDs. <clears throat> and in, in 90 days, I lost 38 pounds and I had abs for the first time. <clears throat> but more than the abs, it was like, it gave me confidence and more energy that I'd experienced since like in, in like 10 years. Um, I'm a former athlete, former baseball player. And I kind of lost that after high school. And I felt like an athlete again, I felt alive. And like, I was running on my lunch break and my coworkers are like, what, like, what's, what's going on with you? Like you're like, you're changed, like you're a new person. And so I fell in love with just telling people like, you got to do P90X, you got to do insanity. Like, I, I promise if you commit to one of these programs, follow the meal plan, you're going to see results and you're going to feel awesome. And it was about eight months after uh, I completed that first program uh, that I became a partner. Like, you guys are here kind of to learn about the, the opportunity to become a partner, uh, what these programs are. And it took me about eight months from when I first found out about it to until I signed up as a partner myself. And to be honest with you guys, I was afraid. Like, I'd never been on social media. I'm very naturally introverted and shy and quiet. Um, <clears throat> and so I like, I saw other people that were partners online and, and I was like, you know, that's cool for them. That's awesome. That works for them. It's just not something that that's for me. Um, but eight months passed and, 
my third daughter was born. And I remember sitting in my office one morning at like 5 a.m. I'd gathered up the bills from our lock. We have a lock mailbox that we share as a neighborhood. <clears throat> and it was the the like the anesthesiologist bill. It was the hospital bill, the doctor bill, my Blue Cross insurance statement sharing what the total cost was and what I owed. And I just remember feeling overwhelmed. Like I felt this heavy weight on my shoulders. I felt like my cubicle was spinning around me. Like, like how am I, like I going to pay these bills? Like I'm already working 12 hour days, like all the overtime shifts. My wife uh, worked nights at the hotel from 3 p.m. to 11 p.m. So I would leave at 5, 8, 5 a.m., get home at 5. She would leave at 3, drop the kids off at the babysitter, and then get home at 12 or 11. She'd get off and get home at like 11.30. <clears throat> so I'd have the kids alone at night. And so like, I was just really in that moment, like, what, do, what do I do? Like, we're already like stretched to the limit. I'm a college dropout by the way. So I was like, do I need to go back to college? Like, how am I going to find the time to do that? How am I going to pay for that? Do I need a second full-time job? And that's kind of where I was more leaning. And then it just dawned on me. Like, it just came to me, like, just be a coach. Like my coach's name is Lindsay. She's been inviting me to be a partner with body for like the past eight months. Uh, and it was that morning where I was like, I should be a coach. And I submitted my form and, and signed up as a coach that morning. And I always say that that morning, my fear of not knowing how to provide uh, for my family was greater than my fear of whether or not I could do this business, like overcome being an introvert, overcome not knowing how to use social media, overcome not having enough time. And that's the day that I committed to becoming a coach and helping people. So, you know, when I started as a coach, like my mission was like, I'm going to help as many people as possible, lose weight, feel better with these programs and, and feel like how, how I felt. And, and I was committed to helping as many people as possible so that I could help others, you know, feel that way as well. And I knew if I helped enough people feel like that, um, I would eventually be able to bring my wife home from work. And so she wouldn't have to work nights. We could play those, pay those hospital bills, the doctor bills. And <clears throat> I don't know about you guys, but like my, my dream, my goal, like was like, I'm going to have a great career. Um, when I have a family, have a great home. And then, you know, I'll work that job. I'll come home. My, my wife will be there. My kids will be there. We'll eat dinner together. We'll take walks. We'll play soccer in the front yard. But my first five years of marriage weren't like that because she worked those nights and I worked mornings. So when I became a coach, I was like, I'm going to change that. And this is that opportunity where I can help people and not take more time away from my family. I can build this business on my lunch break. I can build this business at night when the kids are in bed and my wife's at work. And that's how my story started uh, 12 years ago. And I'm still here, uh, excited to share with you guys kind of what it means to be a partner. So Mallory, I'll let you share a little bit of your story, how you came about body and why you're here. Um, so oddly enough, I actually got introduced to Beach Body now body through P90X2 through DVDs, like long, long time ago, as I was trying to figure out, like, how do I work out? I wanted to go to the gym. I didn't know how to go to the gym without looking really super awkward. So I just did it by myself in my garage. Um, but now, you know, I, I am like happily married, been married for a few years. And, and we have a combined family of four kids in a house from going into fourth grade to going into a freshman in high school, which is wild. We had freshman orientation today. Like what is happening in our life right now? Um, so we're insanely busy. Um, I am fortunate enough to be able to do this now full time, which is amazing. Insert beach body disclaimer. I know we're going to get into that. Um, but that's not how I started. You know, I kind of like Scotty mentioned with his story, like I had this dream of being this like super successful working mom and I wanted to work full time and, and, um, you know, Meryl Streep in that, um, oh gosh, I can't even think of the movie. She, like, I wanted to like be on my Blackberry. That was like Blackberries were a thing, right? Like I wanted to be busy and answering emails and I didn't really know what I wanted to do when I got out of college. And so I went and started selling advertising. And what was attractive to me about that job is that it was it was not salary, it was commission. Um, so it was one of those, you, the harder you work, the more money you make. And it's the only thing I've ever known. I've never had a salaried job in my entire life. Um, fast forward, you know, into my working career, have a couple babies and got divorced. 
And, um, you know, where I am now to where I was six years ago is, is totally different. You know, when I signed up to coach, I was pretty newly divorced. And if you've ever been divorced, um, it's a really, really hard thing to go through, especially when you have kids, especially when it was the first time I'd ever had to pay a mortgage ever on my own. And, you know, suddenly this career choice that I'd made that seemed amazing, that left me feeling like this, like powerful woman left me missing my children. Cause now not only was I only seeing my kids in the morning and in the evening and on the weekends, I was only seeing them every other day. So you know, I'd sat in on a couple of these calls, actually. Um, I'd been familiar with P90X, loved the workouts. I did the workouts, actually. And um, a girlfriend of mine that I followed on Facebook knew that and was like, hey, I'm doing this thing. You should hop on one of these calls and find out more about it. It's the same company that does P90X. Like, that's how much I talked about P90X for years before I even knew coaching was a thing. Like, I loved it. Like, I was doing it in my hotel room all the time. So I sat in on one of these calls and actually I didn't even make it through like the whole call. I was cooking dinner in the kitchen and I was like, this, this is not for me, man. Like I cannot do the call thing. Like I don't want to host these calls. Like I could never actually lead a call. Like if this is what it takes. I think I'm just going to, I don't think so. And I like literally like closed my computer during this middle of this sneak peek. And I just like went back to cooking dinner and then I just ignored Beth for like four or five months. Like every message she sent me, every time she liked a post of mine on Facebook, I was like, mm, I don't see you. It's fine. And I ignored her until one day I was sitting in my cubicle at work and I was like having a moment of just like, I, I signed up to coach the week before Christmas, by the way. So as a mom, full-time working mom, super stressed. Um, last week of the year in my job was just insane. I was like, literally crying at my desk and I texted Beth who I hadn't messaged in months and was like, sign me up. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that thing that we talked about that I really knew nothing about. I knew nothing about it. I didn't know how we made money. I didn't know what workouts I was going to start. I just knew that this girl that I followed kind of sort of knew her. She was doing these workouts. I kind of liked working out. Like I hadn't worked out in a month, but I could figure it out. I kind of knew what I was doing in the gym at that point. And I just thought, I'll figure it out. Like, I didn't know what I was doing when I signed up to sell advertising either. And I figured it out and made really good money, but it wasn't, it wasn't giving me what I needed, right? Like I can make money anywhere. <laughs> I can get a job anywhere. Um, but it wasn't giving me the time flexibility I needed with my family. And I called her that day and she signed me up and um, was walking me through this program. And it was like, there's this new program. I know you like P90X. And she did. I remember this conversation. I was sitting in the conference room at work and she was like, there's this new program coming out. It's hour long workouts. I think you'll love it. It's called 80 day obsession. Have you ever heard of 21 day fix? And I was like, nope, never heard of it. I don't even know what you're talking about. I didn't know anything about any other workout that Beach Friday had let go. She was like, oh, it's fine. I think, I think you'll like it. I was like, cool, whatever. Like, sign me up. I did not tell my now husband. We were living together. Like, new living situation, by the way. Forgot to mention that. And like three months into this new living situation, what was I, what was I doing? I don't know. I was desperate. I was desperate for something to change. Did not tell him I was signed up to do this. In fact, when my box arrived at the front door with like all this stuff, I didn't know what Shakeology was. I would actually, I would like accidentally use the post-workout or Shakeology like after my workout. I thought they were the same. I didn't know. I'd never used a pre-workout. They didn't make me freak out. And suddenly I was like using pre-workout and loved it. I mean, you know, you know, if you've tried it, it's amazing. Um, my point is, I didn't know what I was doing. I had this box of stuff. And my now husband was like, what is all this crap? Like, wh what's in this box? I'm like, oh, yeah, I forgot. I forgot to tell you. I'm a coach. I'm doing this thing. I forgot to tell you. I didn't want to tell you. I thought you'd like judge me or like think it was weird. Um, He's like, okay, well, you should probably tell people that you're doing this. If you ever want people to buy something from you, it's like, I know I like, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Right. Um, so I started the workouts. I loved, loved the workouts. Um, when I say 80 day obsession changed my life, it did, it did because yes, I had done P90X and it was the first time I had like kind of learned what I was doing, but I went from being like 
kind of sort of fit to being like, I was fit, man. At like post two 10 pound babies, mom working full time. Like I felt better than I'd ever felt in my entire life. And I was like shouting it from the rooftops, just like I did when I did P90X, right? Like I got my boyfriend at the time to do P90X. My dad, my dad still does P90X, by the way, in his early sixties. Um, thanks to me over 15 years ago. Um, but I just loved it and went to work and was like talking to people about it at work. Like I kind of did this thing. I signed up this gal I was talking to in my cubicle. She was like, Oh, I've thought about doing that. I'll do it with you. It'll be fun. And there's another gal like across the cubicle that was like, what are you guys talking about over there? It was that week in between Christmas and new year's. Remember I signed up like the week before Christmas. Cause why not? What else to add to my plate the week before Christmas? But we were talking about it. Nobody's at work. So we're just chatting. So I got my first two customers just because I was excited. I was excited. I didn't know what I was doing. I hadn't even, I was like not using Shakeology right. I didn't, I'd never used the pre-workout. I hadn't even fully started the program. I was just like in it, right? And that's how I launched my business. I knew nothing about what I was doing. My social media was honestly quite a disaster. Like Instagram stories were this brand new thing. And I would use my make my pre-workout in the morning and I take this terrible cat filter and share it. And I had like, I say that I launched my business posting like 80 sweaty selfies in a row. Cause that's all that I knew I was supposed to do. That it was like, it says on the sheet that I'm supposed to post my workout. So like, here it is. Yay. Day one, I did the thing. And I've never not had a month of doing this business that I've gotten less than five people to do this with me. And I'm not, I'm not sharing that with you to brag, but I'm sharing that because the reason is because the excitement that I have for what we do, it's never left. There's, there's never a day that I don't love what I do. And like I said, like you can work a job anywhere. Has this job provided for my family financially amazing? Yes, it has because I work my butt off, but I work my butt off doing anything, right? This just gives me the flexibility that I like. And I really do love this. I love this. So I'll pass it back over to Scotty while we talk about, you know, how to earn the things, how to earn income. Awesome. Thank you so much, Mallory. And I love that when you... Like I was just thinking about that. When you're excited about something, other people get excited about it. Whether it's Beachbody, some new band or a new song, you just talk about it and other people get excited with you. So uh, thank you so much for sharing that. I love hearing your story and I, I love finding people and having people like you on our team that are just like excited about things, love to work hard and and love to be compensated for the hard work that you do. So you might be asking like, okay, what does a... But like, what does a partner do? What do you guys actually do? So I, I'm going to share a little bit about what a partner does and also how, how do you earn income as a partner? Um, I have to say this disclaimer, but body does not guarantee any level of success or income. Each partner's income is a direct reflection of their own uh, effort, diligence, and skill. Uh, and there's a whole link that you can click on and kind of read everything about that. Um, but for me, like I worked my butt off, like I worked 12 hour days at my job. I was the guy that signed up for every overtime shift. If something needed to be worked on overnight at the factory, like I'm like, I'll be there. Like I'm, I'm that person. So I took that work ethic into this and I really saw an opportunity to change my family's life. And it was something I was super passionate about and already telling people about. So when I became a partner after like doing the programs for over a year, it simply switched for me from saying like, you should do P90X and Insanity to saying you should do P90X Insanity. Here's a link to buy it. That was literally the only thing that changed. And I remember getting my first paycheck for $49 and 50 cents. And it was so exciting to me because it was like this, um, like this hope came into me, like, this is it. Like, this is that thing where I can build a little extra income and eventually my wife can be home, come, come home from work. So uh, what we do as partners, I actually started doing before I even became a partner. Uh, and I kind of heard it in Mallory's story as well as she shared. She was told her dad about P90X. Her dad started P90X. And that was far before she ever became a coach and a partner with body. And so that's what I was doing. I was telling people about P90X, telling them about insanity, telling them about the meal plans. And they were doing them. And I actually opened up a Facebook group and I called it the Staying Fit Family. And like, I loved it. Like, I, I remember I would be walking up my stairs, like right before 5am in the morning to my job. 
and I'd get to work like five or 10 minutes early and I would open up my Facebook and I couldn't wait to check into my, what we call a challenge group and see my people and see how their workout was from the previous day or the ones that had done their workout already that day. And I love seeing them say like, I notched another uh, hole in my belt. Like I'm down a dress size. Uh, I'm down three pounds from last week. I fell in love with that process of seeing uh, my friends and the people that I was helping losing weight and feeling better. And so that's kind of what we do as a partner is we uh, connect people with uh, the body platform, which is Beachbody On Demand. Uh, interactive. We connect them with the supplements that they might need that will help them with their goals. And we support them in that journey. We don't have to be, per, we're not personal trainers. We're not certified nutritionists and dietitians. Those programs and those nutrition programs are created by uh, experts and professionals. And so our job is only to connect them with that, with one of those programs uh, and then support them, be like a cheerleader. You could, I guess you could call it or a support and holding them accountable to those workouts and to their meal plans. Uh, and that's kind of what we do as a coach. So let's say uh, I see uh, Stacia on here. Stacia, we talk and you're, tell me your goals. I would connect you with the body platform and whatever supplement I feel would be best for you. Uh, it might be Shakeology. Like 99% of my customers start with Shakeology and a 20 serving bag of Shakeology and a 20 serving uh, um, of our pre-workout called Energize. So I would get you started on that, and then you would be invited into our support group. There, You can either do it on the app, the BOD app, uh, in what's called the BOD group, or you can do it on Facebook. You can do it however you want. When you're a brand new partner, you could, you could have a text thread with your three best friends, and every morning you text each other. So you could use the app, you could use a Facebook group, you could use a text thread. Uh, but your job as a partner, and, and our job as a partner, is to hold people accountable uh, to their goals. And I love that because I've been to gyms before. And when I go to the gym or if, let's say I miss going to the gym for four days, the front desk doesn't say like, doesn't text me and say, Hey, we haven't seen you at the gym for the past three days. Are you coming next week? Like they don't do that. And that's the cool thing about, uh, having a partner and being a partner is you get to be that accountability for other people. So our job is just to hold people accountable and beach body or the body pays us to do that. And they actually pay a 25% to a 40% commission for that. So like I said, when I shared my story, I worked my butt off. My goal was to bring my wife home from work, uh, pay those doctor bills from the birth of my third daughter. Uh, and I worked so hard, like every lunch break. I was working on my body business at night when I put my three daughters to bed while my wife was still at work. Even though I was exhausted from my 12 hour work day, I was supporting people and helping people and building this business. And after 14 months, I was able to leave my full-time job. So you might be like, okay, how, what? That's crazy. Like, how does that happen? Well, body pays a 25% commission on every consumable product that you share. So whether it's Shakeology, Energize, which I, I just finished chugging, uh, our Recover Shake, which is a post-workout uh, shake that has, it's a post-workout protein shake with BCAs. We have gut health programs. We have gut health supplements. We have all kinds of products they can use. So when you share those with your clients, uh, you get a 25% commission. When you share with them the body platform, you get a 40% commission on that. And the body platform has, if you haven't done one of the body programs yet, uh, has all of a, all the fitness programs that body has ever created, including live, live workouts, you know, new body blocks that come out every week or every month. I'm so, sorry. Uh, they have all of those. They have nutrition programs, two of them, which are called to be mindset and the portion fix created by incredible dietitians and nutritionists. And then they have a mindset category as well on that app where your client and you yourself can learn mindset, um, have mindset masterclasses to learn how to overcome. Like the last one was overcoming the perfection mindset. So there's so many incredible uh, things on that body platform that you can offer to your clients uh, without being the, the certified personal trainer or dietitian yourself. And you earn a 40% commission on those. So every time you bring somebody on, you're getting that uh, 25 to 40% commission. And then also when they continue using their supplements month after month, you continue to get that 25% commission. And I don't want to overwhelm with too much information on this, but when you begin to build a team of partners that you work together with in helping people, as your team begins to uh, help 
their customers and earning income them themselves, uh, you get a percentage of that as well. So it's absolutely uh, incredible and absolutely life changing. I have five kids now, by the way, and this uh, by working so hard and so consistently for over the past twelve years, this has provided for my family for the past ten years for a family of five. Uh, and I mean, I'm here working on what is it Thursday at seven p.m. Uh, from my cabin, um, but it's 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 happened because I've stayed consistent in building my business and helping people get results with these programs. I've seen I've had people lose over two hundred pounds. I've had people lose a hundred pounds and go on to win like bodybuilding competitions. I've had people that just are like me, just average dads and average moms that just want to feel good and have the energy to hang out with their kids and their family. And I think one of the biggest benefits I've gotten from being a partner is it's held me accountable to my own fitness goals because I fall off so easy <laughs> uh, because I love chips and salsa uh, and I love food and my wife's Bolivian. So uh, it gives me the opportunity to love food and stay healthy and fit because I'm consistently trying to do better and and stay active uh, to be that example for my customers. So Mallory, I'm going to pass it over to you uh, to kind of share some of the questions that we've had. Yeah. Um, so I know I talked a little bit in the beginning about I used to sell advertising. And I think one of the reasons it was the perfect job for me is because we worked on deadlines. And I am like the world's biggest procrastinator. So I can, I will not miss a deadline, but like you give me the deadline and it's going to be like the last day um, where I used to be. I will say that like, I'm the person at the DMV on the last day of the month with like everybody else that's like me. I'm sorry, I'm the worst. Um, but what I have found is that, I don't know if you find this, but by the time you get there or you know what, if you're not a procrastinator or you've never been a procrastinator, like you don't get it. But if you are, you know, where you just like, you put it off and you put it off and you put it off. And maybe you, you're putting off the thing because you feel like it's just going to take so much time and you don't want to take the time and, uh, or you don't do the thing because I call it the too hard pile where you just don't totally understand it. And so you almost have to take extra time or you feel like you will to understand it, to be able to do whatever the thing is. And it, it goes in the too hard pile because it's not something that you can just like check off your list. I think that's like where procrastinators excel is we have the like easy to do things. And then we have this like too hard pile and the things we just like don't want to do. But what ends up happening Every year, um, the 31st day of the month is that I'm sitting there like, you know, 20 minutes in and out of the building that I'm like, oh, so what I did was spend 30 days this month telling myself how much time I didn't have. And I was wasting all of this energy and time on not doing something that didn't actually take that much time. And I think, I think the same thing happens sometimes with this business is that we think it's going to be new and scary or like overwhelming, or I just don't know if I have the time for that because we're telling ourselves these stories about what we think it's going to take, but we don't really know what it's going to take. Right. And so I think, gosh, if I could start doing this business the same week that I started doing 80 day obsession. And if you haven't, if you've never done that program, those are hour long workouts. So the me who only up until that point had time to go to the gym, like a couple times a week, suddenly I had time to do hour long workouts. And on top of that, I was like, oh yeah, I can like add minutes to do this business. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. Right. And it wasn't because I knew what I was doing because I, I didn't. Um, but it's, it goes back to, I was just excited. I wanted it. I wanted it to work. I saw the opportunity and I saw that, man, I, I know that this is going to be kind of like my commission sales job where I got to do a little bit of work before I get the paycheck. This isn't like an hourly job where you clock in and clock out, but I know that it can pay off. And I had belief that it could. And so every morning when I would get up and drink, chug my pre-workout at like 5 a.m., which was a new habit for me, by the way, that was new. Um, I don't still do that, by the way, now that I don't have to. Um, I'm not one of those like people that just loves getting up early. I like my sleep. But when I had to do what I did, I figured it out, right? So while I drink my pre-workout, I would write my social media posts for the day. And then I would get my workout done. I do my thing. I 
you know, trekking all over town, dropping kids at preschool and elementary school. My kids actually live, uh, went to school out of the district when I started. So my drive time was insane. I worked full time and I would <laughs> sit in my driveway for 30 minutes. Sometimes I would actually sit in the parking lot at work because if I got in my driveway, my kids would see me and like come out there and you know, what, what are you doing? Um, but I knew that I knew that if I could just like stay secluded, not talking to people. So I would sit in my car, I could figure it out. And that's how I, that's how I launched my business. Not because I had an extra 40 hours a week to do this, but because I could look at my calendar and think, you know, I have 15 minutes here. I have 30 minutes on my lunch break and I have soccer practice twice a week that one of the days I'm listening to team call while I'm walking, you know, in my earbuds or whatever. And the other day I would sit in my car and work my business. And to be honest with you, now that I work this full time, it's wild to me how much sometimes it's like three o'clock in the afternoon. And I'm like, oh boy, I got some things to do today. It's, I always say like parents make the best coaches. Well, like I have so many parents on my team and moms because we're so busy that you're good at figuring out how to time block and looking at your calendar and being like, well, I could do this here and I could do this here. And I didn't do several hours a day all of the time, but I was consistent and I got better over time in figuring it out, right? I think... um the other thing that helps me or helped me, especially in the beginning, and I think it's a fear that a lot of a lot of the new partners that join me have is you think like you're committing to, to whatever, like you're signing your life away or like it's going to take so much time. And it's like, well, wait a second, how I like to look at or how I really used to look at it and how I walk my new challengers through their new workouts is like, what if you just commit to the next one, right? Like, do you have... 30 minutes today or 30 minutes tomorrow or 60 minutes on, on Saturday. Right. And could you decide three times a week that you could sit down and do it? And if it doesn't work out, you figure it out the next time. But when you commit to one workout, just when you commit to your hour long workout at the end of that workout, then commit to the next workout. And at the end of that hour long workout, then commit to the next hour long workout. And I think working your business is the same where you commit today to, okay, tomorrow at this time, I'm going to show up for 45 minutes. And then tomorrow, as soon as you finish those 30, 45 minutes, you commit to the next 30 minutes, 40 minutes, an hour, whatever, where you don't have to decide today how much time you're putting into it all month, right? You decide a little bit at a time. And then as your weeks go on, you can look back at your week and figure out, okay, was that enough time? Did I have enough time to get all of the things done that I wanted to? Could I put more time in? Do I not have as much time this week, right? It's It ebbs and flows with where you're at in your life. And you have the ability to, to work this business more and to, to do it with more intention to earn more income. Or you have the ability where things get crazy and maybe this week you can't work your business Tuesday, Wednesday, and you can only work it Thursday, Friday, Saturday. That's for you, right? Consistency can look different. For everybody, as long as you're taking consistent action over time and you're doing the right activities. And that's what we do in our training. You know, I think what, what we think when we come into this business is like, we have to know all of the things about social media and you totally get social media training when you join us. Um, but you get so much more than that. You know, I think you get a lot of business training. What, what will happen as like Scotty said of like the biggest benefit we get from being partners is that you get really good at your own personal habits because you're teaching them to other people. Well, you also get really good at learning business skills. Your business development will skyrocket when suddenly you're trying to figure out like, where's my money coming from and what am I doing? And you get trainings on how to do that. Not because you need to know everything right away. You kind of learn as you go. And the first, you know, the first 30 days of your training with really, no matter what your business goals are in this business, the first 30 days, whether you want to become a millionaire or you want to have a side hustle and keep your job, the first month, 30 days is to help you develop some kind of momentum that you can one, figure out what you're doing at enough of a pace that you're figuring it out as you go, right? Because this definitely isn't a business that you 
watch a bunch of training videos. And suddenly you're like, I have become an expert. I know exactly what to say. And someone's going to message me. I'm going to know exactly what to say back because guess what? The first person that messages you is probably going to say something different than the next person and the next person. And my challenge to you as you join us, or if you decide to join us is to like embrace the uncomfortable feelings that you get of taking the action of like, you figure it out and you watch the video and you try something, you know, it's kind of like, um, you can't watch a bunch of YouTube videos to learn how to swim, you know, like you can watch Michael Phelps do all of the things and you can watch his breathing techniques and you can see all the stretches he does, but like you throw me in a pool and I'm probably not going to swim like Michael Phelps. Like give me a floaty and it'll be fine. But if you get in the pool and you practice, like maybe you're not going to be Michael Phelps right away because you don't have 10,000 hours of training, um, but you're going to figure it out and you're probably going to start floating a little. And I think the other thing that I like to, to mention is that we think if we just like, I'm just going to like give it a go, I'm just going to like test the waters and see what happens. The best quote that I heard Brendan Bouchard say, I think it was at last year's summit was if you're only halfway in the pool, you will always be cold. You will always be uncomfortable. So if you decide to like kind of sort of do it, it will always feel harder than if you just like embrace it and commit to, Hey, I'm going to sort this out for the first 30 days and create this momentum so that I can figure out what my pace is. And that's really the purpose of your first 30 days is to figure out, okay, you're, you're getting thrown in the pool. And does, does everyone expect you to do it perfectly? Nope. Do I expect you to get a little bit overwhelmed on occasion? Yeah. Because that's what doing new things feels like. Right. And we think like overwhelm is this big, scary thing. And like, Oh, we have to avoid being overwhelmed. Like, I think that's what 2020 kind of did to us. Of like, we're just afraid of like embracing the work. And it's like, wait a second. That's where we grow. That's where we figure out new things. And you have the guidance of people around you to help you figure it out as you go. Like you're not doing this by yourself. You know what I mean? You're doing this with other people. And, you know, I think, I think another piece of that, of that getting uncomfortable is putting yourself out there on social media and learning like, man, I really don't know what I'm doing on social media. And do you, do you, do you know exactly what to post and what to say and how to do it? Probably not. Um, but do you get some guidance from us? You sure do. Like, I don't expect you to know exactly what to say, but the more that you show up and you figure it out the easier it will be the next day and the next day and the next day. And I had the same fears probably that you did of being a little bit nervous that people are going to not love what you're posting or judge you or do whatever. And they're always going to be those people, you know, there's always going to be people out there that don't know exactly what you're doing and they're going to ask you questions and I welcome it. And I encourage you to welcome some of that feedback as well, because that to me means that you're like, you're making waves and this is the healthiest ripple effect that you will ever make in your entire life. I promise you. And my best challenge to you too, is to feel like you don't need to know exactly what you're doing. You don't need to be the fitness expert. Like Scotty said, you don't need to be the nutrition expert. We have the experts on our platform. You need to be an expert on you and start jumping in and dipping your toe in and figuring things out as you go, as you show up on social media, not because you're like this end goal weight that you've always wanted to be. I have so many people say like, oh, I'm just going to like, I'm going to finish this 21 day fix program and I'm going to lose like 10 pounds. And then I'm in. Here's what I want you to think about is it is probably far more interesting to follow somebody's journey on social media if you're following them from this place of struggle. Maybe that's, I don't know if that's what social media has done to us or the world, but it's like, we are, our brains are like attracted to struggle and challenge. And we're like, what's going on? Why is this person struggling? What's happening? And we're, we're like sucked in. And then as you start showing up and sharing your struggle and sharing what you are overcoming, that is going to connect with somebody else that's trying to overcome the exact same thing. 
right? Like you will connect with people at every single stage of your journey. And you're, you're going to connect with people differently than I connect with people different than the gal that's walking on the beach with eight pack abs and like a thong. Like I'm like never going to connect with that person. Right. But she's going to connect with like lots of eight packers, you know, you don't have to be an eight packer. You can like be a mom who's like just trying to figure out how to get your workouts in and also sleep for eight hours because we're supposed to do all of that and drink all the water and eat all the food and like, oh my gosh, what is happening? Right. Like you can be that person who's figuring it out as you go and sharing, sharing your journey with other people that have the exact same struggle that you are. And I bet you the reason that you're on this call or that you got started is because somebody invited you that that you felt connected to some kind of struggle that they had. And maybe you can't think of it right now, but I bet you if you start showing up on social media and sharing those things, they're going to kind of start speaking to you, right? I think sometimes we spend so much time worrying about, you know, what, what can go wrong and why isn't this going to work and how can this work for me long time? And, you know, I think sometimes we have to remind ourselves of, but what if this actually works? Like what could go right? You know, I think what becomes real to me is when I go to events like summit, I met D and her husband for the first time at summit, by the way, I thought, I thought he was a chef, the whole, like Mr. Meyer, I thought you were a professional chef because we joked about it at summit and turns out he's actually not. Sorry, but side note, like I met them online. I met them online, not because I knew them or I'm like a perfect, like I'm kind of a hot mess procrastinator, right? But I really do love what I do and I love sharing it. And I met these people online, not because I knew exactly what I was doing, but because they were interested in getting started and doing the exact same thing we were, right? But I met them at summit. And the the thing that I think I took away from like D coming and I had a couple other new partners go to summit is that you see that there is every type of person doing this business and every type of person working this business in a different way. Some people that get people to do this with them because they're super chatty and they're talking to people at the bus stop and other people because they're, they love social media, right? Like you can make this work for you with whatever you want, but when you go to summit and you start seeing these people in real life, it's pretty incredible. Well, also because you're there working out with the super trainers in real life. That was the first time I ever saw a trainer in real life was at summit. i would only seen them on my TV and it's wild. They're like, I worked in advertising and my husband is in entertainment. And I would, I would like would see famous people all the time and be like, eh, you know, cool, whatever. And I see Autumn at Summit and I'm like, oh my God, she's wearing the same. <laughs> Did you see that? Like, what? I freak out. Like, I love it. They're real people. They're amazing. And I think the next phase of that, the the other thing, oh, by the way, um, in part of your like onboarding and training and 30 days, like when you start developing consistency in this business, you have the opportunity to earn your first free ticket to Summit when you lean in and you do the things. Um, so you get to go to your first year of summit for free when you show up and you hit success club your first three months. And that means nothing to you, but just know that there are opportunities available to you as a new coach, as a new partner that are only available to you, which is an incredible opportunity, which is an even better thing to lean in. The next thing that I, the next piece that I think it was like life-changing for me and my family was um, bringing my husband on a success club trip because remember when I was like, I got the box and he was like, what is all this stuff? Like what's in here? I don't even know what you're doing. He was like, thought it was fine and cool and whatever. And then we went on a cruise for freezies. Like I didn't even know. I didn't, again, like I didn't really pay attention to, I should have paid attention. I didn't know what the success club points meant. I didn't know that I like earned this all-inclusive paid vacation that it was like such a big deal, but it, it was. And I was like, wow, I should tell people about this. My team should also be here. And I had a couple people on my team go this last year with their significant others. And again, it's the same thing where you're like, you're surrounded with 
other people that do this business that work their butts off to get there. And also like a wall is hanging out at the pool. No big deal. Like it's, it makes it real and it makes it, it makes it, for me, it's the reminder that I'm not doing this alone, that I get to see Scotty and Gabby and, and D and Jenny and like hanging out at the pool and connect with them on such a real level. Like get yourself to those opportunities. You guys, if you are a new partner and you decide like earn that ticket and go to surround yourself and give yourself the opportunity to be around people and to be in the room with people that want you to be successful, that like want you to dream bigger than you're dreaming right now. Yes. I love it. Mallory, we could just end like right now. <laughs> Thank you for sharing that. I have a couple of my friends uh, texting me and they're like, Mallory is doing so awesome. Uh, so, um, you know, you were talking about the success club trip and that was one of my very first goals. Mallory's like, I didn't know about the success club trip and I earned it and I got there and I was like, all my coaches need to go there. Uh, mine was, I was sitting in, in the cubicle doing my work one day and I remembered seeing like thousands of people on a cruise ship with Tony Horton, the creator of P90X. And like, I was so mad. Like I was just so upset that all of these people like I was jealous is the word. I was like, they're all on the cruise ship with my hero that changed my life. And I'm in this cubicle. Like I'm a hardworking person. I deserve to be there. So like I asked my coach, like, how do I earn it? And she told me, you just need to get three people started a month and you get a free trip uh, to the next one with your wife, all includes all inclusive paid for you and Gabby. And we're going to Atlantis in the Bahamas. And I was like, I'm going like, it's done. And that was the first of our 12 trips that we've been on uh, for Success Club. They've been absolutely incredible. So thank you for sharing that, uh, Mallory. I love uh, I love the Success Club trips. Um, like I've I've been in a few different careers throughout my life. Never once has my boss said, if you hit these small sales quotas every month, I'm going to give you a free trip for two. It, it never happened. I remember going to a Christmas party and I saw this guy get a four-wheeler for retirement. And I was like, what? I'm going to get a four wheeler when I retire. This is awesome. And that was like 40 years, 45 years down the road. Like I was so excited that one day I could get an awesome ATV or something when I retired. So like when I found out about these perks as a coach, like that, I would get these cool perks for just working hard each year. Um, I was so excited about that. So thank you for sharing that Mallory. Um, I'm going to end this out. We're almost at the hour. So I do want to um, wrap this up so you guys can get back to your families. So you might be wondering like, okay, now how do I get started with body? So there's a couple, um, there's a couple options for you to get started as body. If you're already um, using the body platform, you're a customer, um, it's as simple as paying a $40 signup fee. And can, and once you pay that that $40 signup fee, then your supplements that you're using like Shakeology or whether it's Energizer Recover will then be 25% discounted. Cause that's one of the cool perks of being a partner is you get a 25% discount on all the products that you're using yourself. So if you're already a customer, it's just as simple as paying a $40 signup fee. And then your, your supplements will then be only, uh, there'll be 25% discounted to be a partner. There's a $15 and 95 cent a month partner fee. So that's that partner fee. Think of it like a Costco or a Sam's Club membership. You know, when you pay an annual membership and you get a discount to go shop in the shop or the, the Sam's Club, that's kind of how being a partner with Body Works. You pay, a, but it's paying a monthly fee of $15.95. You then get a 25% discount and then you get the ability, like I mentioned before, turn 25% commissions on consumable products and 40% commissions on uh, the body platform when you refer it to somebody. Now, if you haven't, um, uh, if you're not using body platform, uh, the body platform yet, the other option is to, and even if you already have a body platform and you've been using it for six months, nine months, the best option is to just get a, a brand new total solution pack. Uh, what a total solution pack is, it includes a year access to all of the body platform that I mentioned before. It's every single body workout that's ever been created. Uh, it includes all the nutrition plans that I mentioned and the mindset platform. The year access to that body platform is 179. Uh, if you're already using that, you already know that, but if you're not using it, um, that's what it is. So write that down, 179 for the year access to body platform. And then let's say you want to use Shakeology. 
uh, you get a 30 serving bag of Shakeology. Shakeology is 128 retail. So if you divide it by 30 servings that's in that bag, it's about $4 a meal. Now, remember when you're a coach, you get it at 25% discount. So Shakeology is like $98 as a partner. But the cool thing is there's a package called the Total Solution Pack where you get a year, a year access to the body platform plus Shakeology. Or maybe you want Energize or Recover, or maybe you want a 20 serving bag of Shakeology and a 20 serving uh, of Energize. That package, when you bundle one of those three options with the year access to body is only 219. And the partner that is enrolling you as a partner on, on the team, the person that invited you to this call, they have a promo code for you that's $20 off. So the 219 is actually comes down to 199. So to become a partner on the team, long story short, is 199 with that promo code and that waives the $40 sign up fee. You get a whole year of body and you get your first 30 serving bag of Shakeology or Energize and Recover. So does that make sense? Anybody have questions on that? So that's what it is to enroll, uh, what it costs to sign up and that's how you do sign up. So what you wanna do is reach out to the person that invited you to this call or to this recording. Tell them, okay, I, I'm ready to go. Um, I want, this is what I want. This is the flavor of Shakeology I want, or I want, you know, chocolate. I want the 20 serving chocolate Shakeology, 20 serving lemon energize package. Let them know what you want. They'll send you a link that puts it right in the cart for you. They'll send you a promo code. You get enrolled and then you'll be signed up with that enrollment. And then what I want you guys to know after that, that's step number one. Step number two is they'll help you get in, um, signed into what's called the 28 day action plan training. So that training will like teach you step-by-step step, one day at a time, how to work on your business, what, like the steps that you do, it'll not just train you, but it'll have you take action steps to starting your business. And you'll be able to work one-on-one -on -one with the person that invited you in here. They'll help answer your questions. Uh, and then what I want you to, so that'll be step number two. Once you get enrolled, you'll get started on that training. Uh, and then step number three is I am hosting a team-wide getting started right call on Tuesday, uh, which will be the 15th of August. So you'll be invited to come to that meeting and I'll spend an hour talking to you about some of the things that you heard mentioned, like how to earn the success club trip. What is success club? Help you set some goals for your first month so that you can earn your $200 investment back in that first month and then give you the action steps of, okay, this is what you need to do over the next month. So um, with that being said, um, we are almost at the hour. So I want to ask you guys, is there any questions that you might have right now? And if not, you can, you can message Mallory or myself or the partner that invited you here. So I'll give you guys just a second to ask any questions. I'm going to check my phone. Because I have someone texting me that's on this webinar too. So, okay. Any questions? And if not, what I want you guys to know, I, I'm not seeing any questions come through. So that's totally okay as well. Um, if you do have questions, like reach out to the person that invited you, whether it was Mallory or maybe Jeremy or Matt or myself or whoever sent you to, the, to, to watch this, um, feel free to ask questions. They're going to be more than willing to hop on the phone with you or answer those questions for you to help you get started on that next step. And then I hope to see you guys on that new coach getting started right call on Monday. Uh, I'm going to do that at noon mountain time. So just stay in touch with the partner that invited you here. And we're excited to have you guys be a part of this team with us. So thank you, Mallory, for sharing. And thank you for everybody being on this call. And we'll see you guys all later. Thank you. Bye-bye.